G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me, and sorry for the besheveled look. I've been doing quite a bit of work today, and not only that, I just got bitten by a paper wasp. As I was preparing for this video, I shook that last pallet wall over there, and as I shook it, just to test its viability, because it's getting pretty dilapidated, which is what this video is about, there was a blooming nest of paper wasps in there, and one of them got me right on the middle finger here, the ring finger. I don't know if you can see it. Don't take that the wrong way. But look, so you can see that dent. That's like hard as an egg, hard as a rock. And this one's not. What you get is initially severe pain. It's like someone puts a cigarette out on your skin and that lasts for probably 10 minutes. And then after that, you get this throb. Then it starts to itch. And tomorrow and the next few days, it'll come up in a welt. And I won't bore you with the details, but now what I want to do is show you my trusty three bay compost piles that I've had now for years. And in this video, I want to explain to you what I'm going to do to get hopefully another decade use out of this really basic but excellent system for composting. Let's get into it. <laughs> I have to be careful because they're still hanging around. I knocked the nest down and I've sprayed the nest so anything that's hatching out of it will die. Now they're going to have to find another home somewhere. So I've got a typical three bay compost piles here. Some people have them square. I decided to go for rectangle bays. I could fit more in there. For those who aren't familiar with the three bay composting system, basically what it is is your first bay, you fill up full of green waste. I mean chock-a-block it. This one here just a few days ago was, I reckon, probably up here high. The more you have chockers in there of green waste, the faster it will compost down and the hotter that pile will get. That first bay is the first stage of the compost making. And what you do then is you let that compost down for several months until you see it compacted right down to maybe only a foot high or even less. What you do then is you turn it. You take the top layer that hasn't broken down yet off and you put it in to the second bay here on the bottom and then all that humus and compost that's on the bottom of this pile you throw in on top of that waste and then that second bay is left to finalize or finally break down that top layer that hasn't been broken down yet and then simply the third bay is for your finished product that's where you put all the stuff from the second bay once it's all been broken down into that third bay in the meantime once you've emptied that first bay you can start filling that one up again and keeping that process going that's the basic principle of the three bay composting system you can make it as big or as small as you like over the last 12 months I haven't been using this much I've just been filling or we Nina did a lot as well all our garden waste have been getting packed into this first one but I haven't used the second or third because we used up all our compost out of those bays and there isn't anything in there at this stage except for grass and weeds growing up through it and some matting that I put down to try to prevent those grass and weeds growing through it and the other reason for not using those other two bays at the moment is because I'm testing out some other composters, primarily tumbler composters and the standard composting bin. And I'll bring you those results in later videos. The other thing is I have been meaning to upgrade these bays for a long time to make them more resilient but also to stop grasses growing up through to get rid of those gaps tidy them up make them look a bit better make them easier to use because all these gaps in the pallet not only does the grass and weeds grow up through them you're losing some compost into those areas as well what i've come up with is an idea that i would use some of this here this is like plastic lining it comes from plastic forests this is a company that recycles soft plastics and it's a, not an easy thing to do i've talked about plastic forests many times it's not sponsored at all 
it's just a passion of mine that I have about recycling and sustainability. I don't want to lecture people. All I'm saying is that I think this is a great idea. If we can reuse our plastics instead of throwing them into landfill, why not do it? The idea will be to tack it on to the inside of those bays and I think it'll work a treat. So that's what I'm going to do. But before I put this plastic forest plastic down, I need to tidy up these bays a bit and give them a bit of a whipper snip. Fat fingers crossed that I don't have to run like Hussein Bolt again. Actually, I might just put down a bit of covering fire first. See that one? Came straight at me. So far, so good. It looks like all the wasps have gone. It's two days later, and I'm happy to report that not only are the wasps gone, well, there's been a few stragglers, but I think they're just randoms coming past. But also, the old middle finger, she's healed up. Thank goodness, it was throbbing for a good, I reckon, 36 hours or so, but it's come good. So what I wanna do is tackle what I first started, and that is, well, I didn't even get a chance to start, did I? But I wanna clean up these two compost bays, and over here, you can see a shit ton of cow manure. I picked that up from the dairy yesterday. I can tell you, it's some of the best poop you'll ever wanna see or feel. I just love manure through the hands, don't you? But I'll show you that once I've finished refurbishing these bays. I'm just going to be using some roofing screws. These are actually secondhand ones. Things that have been refurbished from our decking and from our build of our home, our renovations. What are you doing? Scared the heck out of me. Kookaburra. Go, 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 Well, that's the bottom layer done. I'm pretty happy with how it's looking. It's sort of how I envisaged it. I've done the back as well, and I'm gonna put another layer on here. This plastic is quite malleable, and it molds into place. Even though these are far from square, <laughs> these bays are just, well, for a start, because of the angle of the land, they are staggered downwards. So it's good that the plastic is able to be you know screwed willy-nilly into place to make it fit uh, retrospectively <laughs> Well, I've run out of plastic, unfortunately, and I don't have any more of this 1.3 mil plastic left. I've got some of the three mil, but it's just a bit too thick to use for a job like this. 
This size plastic to line things like compost bays is the perfect type of mix of strength and also malleability, if that's a word to be able to sort of squish it into place, especially like I said before, if it's not square and, and this certainly isn't. I'll hit up Plastic Forest and get some more of this 1.3 mil plastic from them. And then I will finish lining the back. Of course, that first bay, I haven't done that yet anyway. So once that first bay is empty and I've poured it into the second bay, then I will line that first bay anyway. So the job can't really be totally finished today. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to load up this last bay because it's just a holding bay anyway with this manure and then I'll be using that manure in the garden and whatever's sort of left in that bay and if the compost is then ready by then I'll just mix it all together and make this super mix of cow manure and compost won't that be fantastic and in the second bay there I'm just going to throw down some of that gym matting and that signage and anything that I have to make sure that grass and weeds don't grow in that space in the meantime while I'm waiting for that first pile to decay down. That'll do the trick. Oh, now the shoveling begins. Getting warm. Well, that's a lot of manure. Whew. How do I look? That was hard work, shoveling all that manure in there, about a ton and a half, I reckon. <sighs> Gave the old biceps and shoulders a workout. Well, I'm really happy with the way this refurbishment has gone. This recycled plastic, what it's gonna do is a number of things. It not only rejuvenates and gives this more time, probably another decade, but it's gonna give it more integrity as well. Wrapping that plastic around, it's not gonna crack. This polyplastic, it is UV super duper treated. It's not gonna crack, it's not going to get hard, it's not going to split, it's not gonna degrade. The other thing it'll do is it will keep the heat in. It'll give some insulation to those compost piles and that's good because you want those piles to heat up and if they heat up the hotter they get the better that compost and the faster that compost is made well i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you go to plasticforests.com.au and check out their range of recycled plastics only if we start utilizing these goods uh, and get serious about you know, recycling plastic ourselves, is the whole world going to catch on that plastics are important and are valuable and are best reused rather than chucked in the blooming ocean? Well, I'm gonna go inside and get myself a nice big drink of soda water. I'm gonna suck down, I reckon, 10 liters. And uh, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big recycling sustainability thumbs up and share the video around because that helps my channel out and maybe it might do a little bit to help the planet out. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now.